Hey guys, it's finally time for us to go over Pure Steel Paladin. And this card is now a $16.71 card, which is insane given what its starting price used to be and what its price was for a long time. It looks like up to January 2015, it was a $1 card. Then it went up a little bit in Fate Reforged and before spiking. So again, the same with Retract. This card actually has a double spike. You cannot tell because it never went down from its first spike. So a double spike is something that I don't see very often and I've never seen it together with a card in the same deck. A double spike is when a buyout happens and then right after another buyout happens. And you never notice that it's not the same buyout because they happen so in sync with each other. So let's talk about Pure Steel Paladin again and see if we can figure out what the final price of this card will be. He is in a modern deck with a turn to kill. The turn to kill is somewhat consistent. It does rely, it is a storm deck. It does rely on drawing into more artifacts, more card draw, but a Pure Steel Paladin is an extremely important piece of that engine because he is a reason you can have a turn to kill. Uh, when equipment enters battlefield, you can, you, under your control, you may draw a card. So of course you're going to draw the card. And then you're going to bounce them back and you're going to play them again and hopefully draw even more. So the next, the second time you play it, you can actually draw even more cards. Now what can make sure this combo doesn't go off? Lightning Bolt, Fatal Push, any instant speed targeting can reduce his effectiveness. Uh, definitely there is one with split second in red. I forget what's called. That one should stop them from reacting to what you're doing. And overall, it's a very strong card. The deck is reminds me of a glass cannon. Uh, there is a what's that deck that you know you have to like draw multiple lands and it shoots this blast off. Uh, Belcher. It reminds me a lot of Belcher, and Belcher is not considered a very strong OP deck. Now this deck in modern, I don't know who's pushing it. I don't know who's playing it. I know Shafron Olive, he made a video about it and that, or he made an article about it and now that has a lot of traction. This was interesting from the perspective of buying an entire deck. I typically do not see, we do not typically see such a high increase of price of multiple cards of the same deck this fast. And it's a buyout after another buyout, and I don't know if there's going to be a, a triple buyout. I have not seen that happen, but there very well could be, and this card could be a $20 card next time we talk about it. From the stance of what to look for, if you are interested in this type of speculation in the future, unique cards, unique cards. This card wasn't very good always, hence why it was a dollar, but it's a unique card with a unique ability to draw cards uh, from equipment. Now, it got stronger because equipment got better. Uh, they were only going to reprint more equipment. The same thing with Tamagoyf. Tamagoyf, there is a reason people didn't think it was a strong card because there wasn't that many card types. Planeswalker wasn't a card type. It was not as easy getting stuff into your graveyard as it is now. And there's a reason Snapcaster, assuming even if it's reprinted, will be a very powerful card and very valuable because the instants and the sorceries and the cards that Snapcaster can target will only get better in time. This is the example of something very similar. Equipment will only get better in time. In particular, zero costing equipment will get better in time. This is why this card is so valuable today. It is a unique card that got stronger, that was not always strong. It was not always $16, it was $1 for the longest time. And then they finally found some equipment 
or I found someone who was willing to brew a deck and play enough of those equipment that made it very good. Overall, uh, it's these types of characteristics that I look for in cards. I look for A, is this card unique? And B, will it get better in time? Will something break it? Uh, the best example of how, the most direct example I have of this is the legendary land. I forget what it's called, Dark Depths. That's, yeah, Dark Depths. And I looked at it, I say, oh, cool. It looks like a cool card. I'll buy a few copies of it. Who doesn't want a 2020 flyer? I believe it's also indestructible. It's been a while since I've seen a copy of it. One day, they printed a card called Vampire Hex Maids. Another day, they printed a card called Vespian Stades. And it became a deck. And the card at, before reprint was a $40 card. It still might be like a $4 card, at least $20. Uh, it was reprinted from the Vault Exile or from the Vault Lands or Omega. I don't remember what. I think it was from the Vault Lands. And man, it's crazy. Um, it is absolutely crazy when you look at a card, you find that it's unique, and then something breaks it. Right? That's what you're looking for. You're looking for, okay, I look at this card. It's the only one of its type. What card could be rep could be printed in the future that would make this card OP? Well, in this case, it actually isn't a card in the future. It's cards that have always existed, and that's why it's such a unique case. Like It's something that the Cherio deck does not really involve too many new cards. The main cards, Retract and Zero Costing Equipment, have largely always existed. But the meta has shifted to make it a viable format or viable deck. Uh, now, you can argue, is it actually viable? I don't believe so but that's my personal opinion mtg finance is not based on my personal opinion it's based on what the majority of people think or enough of them who are buying this stuff out so anyway leave me a comment below i think this video should run long enough i did want to give a more detailed analysis of how i look at cards i look at when i look at failure i just fall in love because it's everything i want in the cards it's a unique creature with a unique ability it's even a legendary creature for edh purpose and the it's just a great card when i look at this card it was exactly the same thing i was thinking i was like wow this is pretty good anyway leave me a comment below bye guys